Hello everyone, welcome back in my YouTube channel. Today, in the continuation of the Petroleum Geology Lecture Series, we are going to discuss about the physical and chemical properties of petroleum. So, petroleum is uh, naturally occurring yellow to black liquid found in geolo geologic formations beneath the earth surface which is commonly refined into various types of fuels. It consists of hydrocarbons of various molecular weight and other liquid organic compounds. Simply, hydrocarbons are found in nature in many different forms, mainly as liquid petroleum, which is also known as crude oil, and it is distinguished from refined oil. It is most important commercially uses. The second one is the natural gas which is lighter fraction of hydrocarbon and it can be free or dissolved. And third one is the asphalt, tar or pitch. These are the solid or semi-solid forms of hydrocarbon or we can say the heavy fractions. If we talk about the composition of hydrocarbon, the by weight element percentage ranges, it contains carbon about 83 to oh, 85 percent is hydrogen contains 10 to 14 percent is nitrogen 0.1 to 2 percent is and oxygen ranges about 0 0.05 to 1.5 percent is then sulfur 0.05 to 6 percent is and metals less than 0.1 percent is hydrocarbon Average range is the alkenes in the form of paraffins, naphthalenes, aromatics, and asphaltics, and other the light to, lighter hydrocarbon in the form of methane, ethane, propane, butane, as in the form of gases. Pentene and heavier ones are in the form of liquid or solids. If we talk about the chemistry, the paraffins are saturated hydrocarbon uh, from four, 5 to 40 carbon atoms per molecule and the alkane from pentane to octane are refined into petrol and from nonane to hexadecane into diesel fuel, kerosene and jet fuel. The alkane with more than 60 carbon atom can be refined into fuel oil and lubricating oil. Paraffin wax is an alkane with appro approximately 25 carbon atoms. Asphalt has 35 and up carbon atoms. Those with 4 or fewer, fewer carbon atoms are in the gaseous state at room temperature. The cycloalkanes, also known as naphthenes, saturated hydrocarbon have one or more carbon rings to which hydrogen atoms are attached having the formula CnH2n. The cycloalkanes have similar properties to the alkane but have uh, higher boiling points. The aromatic hydrocarbon which is unsaturated hydrocarbon have one or more planar 6 carbon ring which is called as benzene ring into which hydrogen atoms are attached having formula CnHn. They tend to burn with the sooty flame and many have a sweet aroma. The maturation and degradation follow the two pathway. One where hydrogen carbon ratio decreases, hydrogen is stripped from compound and number of carbon atoms in compound increases. Ultimately reaches hydrogen carbon ratio of zero, that is of graphite. One where hydrogen carbon ratio increases that ultimately reaches up to four, the compound is methane. Hydrocarbon series a 
saturated hydrocarbon it's uh, called alkane is one which the valency of the carbon atom is satisfied by single bond for each carbon atom is connected to each other carbon atom by a single covalent bond that is paraffins and an unsaturated hydrocarbon is one in which the valence of some of the carbon atom is not satisfied by single bond so that these atoms are connected to one another with two or more covalent bonds that is benzene it is generally agreed that hydrocarbons of four different series or types are present in important quantities in the petroleum which are as first one is the paraffin paraffins are also called as alkanes and having the general formula is cnh2 and plus 2 where n is the number of carbon atom paraffins form c1 to c14 usually appears in the crude oil and represent to 20 percent of group by volume since paraffins are fully saturated no double bond they are stable and remain unchanged over long periods of the geologic time second one is the naphthenes naphthenes or cycloparaffins are ring or cyclic saturated hydrocarbon with general formula cnh 2 n Thermodynamic study show that the naphthene ring with 5 and 6 carbon atoms are most stable naphthenic hydrocarbon. The content of cycloparaffin in the petroleum may vary up to 60 percent. Third one is the aromatics, which are important series of hydrocarbon found in almost every petroleum mixture from any part of the world. This series of aromatics is called alkyl benzene and have general formula is equal to cnh 2 n minus 6 where n is less than 6 and it is an example of benzene and fourth one is the asphaltines they are composed of a fused benzene ring network but they contain impurity atoms and are not two hydrocarbon these impurities are the high in molecular weight compound previously referred to as NSO compound. Asphaltines are heavy compound of crude oil and the major component in the many natural tars are asphalts. If we talk about the classification of crude oils, then it is classified as paraffinic oil, which is rich in paraffins, paraffinic naphthenic oil, they have nearly equal amount of paraffin and naphthenes together make up more than 50% of the group and third one is the aromatic intermediate oil they can have some equal amount of paraffins and naphthenes which total less than 50% and composition is dominated by the aromatic and asphaltic now the physical properties of uh, petroleum the main important physical properties of petroleum are density density specific gravity volume viscosity refractive index fluorescence some optical properties color order boiling points First of all, we discuss about the specific gravity. The specific gravity of oil generally lies in between 0 0.3 and are very slightly above 1.0. Paraffin oils are commonly lies as part based oils almost invariably high. The gravity is conveniently signified by the Greek letter that is the rho. The gravity was formally expressed in the degree of European Pumi scale, we directly hydrometer. This means the degree goes up to the density goes down. High gravity is not a heavy oil. There is change in the gravity as the change in the temperature. Then second one is the colors. The paraffinic oils are light color, yellow to brown by transmitted light. 
As for this, oil are commonly brown to black. Many of them are known as black oils. Color is commonly determined with the Sebold calorimeter. Third one is the refractive index. Absolute refractive index (RI) of a substance is the inverse ratio of the speed of light. The range of uh, refractive indexes of petroleum is from 1.4 to 1.48. The lower indices are lighter oils, and the refractive index is dependent on the density of the oils. The heavy, lower if the gravity oils have the higher indices. These are the refractive indexes typically of the oils. Higher the density, higher the refractive index. Now, fluorescence. The all oils show more or less fluorescence. The aromatic oil being the most fluorescent. The fluorescent color of crude oil range from yellow through green to blue. Fluorescence is observed under the ultraviolet radiation that most generally used for petroleum. Having wavelength of 2,537 and 3,650 times per minute. Order. Due to the light hydrocarbon, some oil is agreeable like gasoline oil. Aromatic impart pleasant odor. Oil contains sulfur and certain nitrogen compound usually a disagreeable odor. Viscosity. Viscosity is the internal friction of fluid causing its in resistance to change of form. It is conventionally defined by the Greek letter that is eta. It is the ratio of stress to shear per unit time. Shear with liquid is not a constant but it is proportional to time. Viscosity is defined by the ratio of force into distance upon area into the series unit of viscosity is the poise, is two larger units of practical purpose in the oil industry. Viscosity of oil are therefore conveniently measured in the centimeters. Such a unit is a shell word universal second that is SUS. Volume Oil in the reservoir contains dissolved gas and the volume and solution depend upon the formation of gas oil ratio and reservoir pressure. Gas may be dissolved in the oil under increasing pressure and increasing the volume in the solution. The volume of liquid petroleum at constant pressure. The volume of surface equivalent gas will dissolve a unit volume of reservoir oil. Increase as the reservoir pressure increases until the oil is finally saturated with gas and no more gas will dissolve in the oil. Boiling point Atmospheric to boiling point TVP data are obtained through distillation of petroleum mixture using a distillation column with 15 to 100 theoretical plates at relatively high reflex ratio 1, 1 to 5 or greater. The high degree of fractionation in these distillations give accurate component distributions for mixers. The lack of standardized apparatus and operational procedure is a disadvantage of variation between the TVP data reports by different laboratories for the same sample or response. This is ASTMB 86 and TVF curve for the Carolian sample news so that as the temperature increases, the volume vaporization is increases. So this is all about the chemistry and physical property of the petroleum. Thank you for watching. See you later. Thanks.